After each use, the respirator should be thoroughly cleaned and disinfected, following the procedures as described in the operation and maintenance instructions originally supplied with the respirator, or by the procedures contained in your organized respiratory protection program. We will briefly run through some of these cleaning procedures here. If you have not already done so, disconnect the face piece from the regulator by depressing the regulator latch and turning clockwise until the red purge knob is at the 12 o'clock position, and separating the regulator from the face piece. Refer to your respiratory protection program if decontamination of the respirator is required. This section covers cleaning and disinfecting, but does not include decontamination. With the regulator and other adapters and hoses removed, carefully wash the face piece and harness in a warm water solution containing a mild detergent. A soft cloth may be used to scrub extremely dirty areas. A soft brush may be used to wash the harnesses and elastomeric parts of the face piece. Rinse thoroughly with clean water using a spray bottle or running water. Shake off excess water and then disinfect if necessary. It may not be necessary to disinfect the face piece if reused by the same wearer. Use Scott's recommended disinfecting and sanitizing cleaner. Prepare the disinfecting cleaning solution as outlined in the instructions that come with the cleaner. Disinfect or sanitize the face piece by spraying three full pumps of the properly diluted disinfectant on the outside of the mask and three full pumps to the inside of the mask, wetting the entire mask, including all rubber and plastic areas. Let the mask sit for 10 minutes before rinsing. Rinse thoroughly with clean water using a spray bottle or running water. Shake off excess water. Dry the face piece with a lint-free cloth or gently blow dry with clean, dry, breathable air of 30 PSIG or less. Do not use shop air or any other air containing lubricants or moisture. Heated blowers must not exceed 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 44 degrees Celsius. Examine the face piece to be certain it is complete and in serviceable condition. Remove any obvious dirt from the external surfaces of the regulator by using a Scott recommended sanitizing or disinfecting cleaner with a sponge or soft cloth. Inspect the inside of the regulator assembly through the regulator opening. If excessive dirt or soil is present, Forward the regulator assembly to Scott trained authorized personnel for thorough cleaning. Depress the donning air saver switch and close the purge knob by turning fully clockwise. Use the Scott recommended sanitizing or disinfecting cleaner in the regulator opening and the immediate area around the opening. Be sure to cover the internal components completely. Refer to your user instructions for respirator specific recommended cleaners and contact times for sanitizing and disinfecting. Wait 10 minutes. Rinse the regulator with drinking water using a spray bottle or gently running tap water. Shake the excess water out of the regulator. Be sure to completely air dry the regulator before use or storage. If the regulator was disconnected from the air supply for cleaning, reconnect and open the purge valve to remove any moisture from the regulator spray bar. Close the purge valve. Finally, perform the regulator check process per your operation and maintenance manual and ensure the respirator is completely dry prior to the next use and or storage. To clean the rest of the Skapak AT airline respirator, wipe all surface dirt from the harness, cylinder, airline and accessories using a sponge dampened in a mild soap and water solution. Then wipe off the components with a sponge dampened in fresh water. Be sure the respirator components and accessories are fully dry before storing. All harness straps are fully extended and the cylinder is fully charged. Scott recommends that this respirator be checked both visually and functionally by a Scott authorized service center using Scott authorized test equipment at least every two years. However, heavy use may require more frequent testing. This recommendation is in addition to all other cleaning and maintenance procedures. 
A manual covering the maintenance of this respirator is available on request from Scott Safety. This video has been produced by Scott Safety to familiarize you with your new Scott Skapac AT respirator. Remember to follow your department's procedures when operating, inspecting, or cleaning your new Skapac AT respirator. Should you have any questions about your new Skapac AT respirator, you can contact your Scott Regional Manager, Field Service Specialist, or Scott's Technical Support Group at 800-247-7257.